the Las Vegas massacre, whose fault is it? Obviously, the shooter. But I suggest to you that we're all guilty, that we all played a part in this. How so? Okay, here's my idea. Well, it's actually not my idea, but it's an idea I believe in, and that is that all minds are joined. All minds are connected, okay? At a deep, unconscious, collective, unconscious level, we are all connected to each other. So every time somebody has a sick, crazy thought of hate and vengeance and grievance and anger, we all feel it. We all feel it at an unconscious, deep unconscious level, but we all get it. We all feel it. It's in there. It's in our mind. Okay? And uh, and it and it can be cumulative in, in each individual's mind. And, and perhaps it can push other people over the top where they might not normally have gone. Equally so, when we fill our minds with thoughts of love, and forgiveness and compassion everybody feels it okay so the way we get out of this mess some millennia is by all of us purging from our minds thoughts of hate and judgment and grievance and attack yeah the more we can release these thoughts from our mind uh, you know, we start to tip the scales towards everybody having thoughts of peace and love. Yeah, I know this sounds like ridiculous, magical thinking. This sounds completely idiotic to many of you. I'm, I'm, I understand. But nonetheless, maybe there'll be a few of you out there who will appreciate the power of your mind to influence others and that we do have power. Uh, and that power is involved in not telling people what to do, telling people how to change, you know, attacking people, manipulating people, guilting people, shaming people. You know, if you want to get rid of the sickness in the souls of others, clear the sickness out of your own head. And believe me, we all have it. Anger, rage, hate, you know, judgment. I need to destroy those who we don't agree with. This is sickness. And it's part of the problem, not the solution.